the amount of times I've heard people I know fairly well tell me that they wouldn't be able to date a funny woman. They have a problem, I, which which is is so. You're like uh, bonkers uh, to me. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll be okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> but it's like it's pretty prevalent. It happens all the time. Like, have mm-hmm. you run into? Are you you're are you well, dating somebody now? Or yeah, you... but here's the thing. Let's be honest. There's a difference between funny people and, and people comedians. who think they're funny. Oh, uh, absolutely. So someone who's always on that is annoying. It's the worst. You know, and okay. we deal with it a lot. Someone who's actually funny, I don't think you'd be bummed out because that's someone who's just like kind of moves through life in a way that makes you laugh and isn't. Like, hey, check what I, like it's not <laughs> yeah. that. You don't want a girl doing bits at Applebee's. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's like, but someone that's actually funny is probably the kind of person that's not funny that often because they know it doesn't count as much if it's constant. It's not about. I feel like every we run into that in comedy. All you, you, everybody knows that one guy that either and it, there's a phenomenon in comedy where it it, it they grow out of it. Mm-hmm. I've had people when early when you're in the early mic stage and the amount of my buddies that were the, oh, the always on guy and then they Ugh. and then by like year four or five they realize oh I can just kind of chill and then just do my comedy on stage and be fu- be a normal funny person yeah and then they all discovered antidepressants <laughs> and, you know, and all, okay, a couple of people blew their brains out and yeah here we are. 